Uh, got called up on Saturday, drove from uh, Duluth, Minnesota to the Fargo National Guard Base. Was shipped at uh, around 2 p.m. the same day to Bismarck and started the next day on uh, state active duty. What's been happening is we've been doing a lot of sandbagging, um, walking around to a lot of neighborhoods and seeing if anyone needs help and giving them a hand. Anything from sandbagging to moving uh, furniture to uh, just providing some water. We're down here in uh, Fox Island area, and this area is uh, surrounded on basically all three or four sides here. The Corps put in a dike uh, that's going to not protect this side, so they're trying to dike their homes and 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 uh, and uh, protect to the level that they need to. We're just down here delivering sandbags, and we might be doing some sandbag work uh, to help them finish up uh, existing dikes that they've already started. We've got uh, the dump trucks hauling uh, loose bags. We got the PLS uh, uh, Army trucks that we're using with uh, palletized bags, and they're just using the Bobcats to unload them right now to the residents. And then we'll probably have a staging area right over here behind me that will uh, have some excess bags so they can they can grab what they need. The people have been great. Uh, of course, you know, great concern that you know they don't think they really went through a, a major flood like this before, so there's a lot of uncertainty. But uh, the the city and the county and the guard and everybody's uh, working together here to try to win the fight here and, and keep them dry. I'm just here to uh, thank the Guard for being here and helping us. This is our first experience with the flood. We don't know what to expect. Uh, we hear rumors and it's, uh, it produces a lot of anxiety. And so to have the assurance of the Guard who um, has worked through a lot of floods before, uh, we're very appreciative of their expertise. So thank you very much for being here. Uh, we were feeling a little bit isolated, uh, being that we weren't protected by the city. So to have people from all over the state rally to help us, it's, it's very encouraging. 